figure out a puzzle that would be good for you right now. Have we done any sideways stuff with it? To, to set her up so she can, so back her up, and now you're going to get her to believe she's supposed to go towards that park, that's the direction you're trying to get her to think, and then tell when her nose turns, then tell her feet to follow. Sets. 
Yep, it's at the base of the neck. you've changed position you're off to the side now so i want you in front of her if you keep you know like if you don't let it be black and white it's really hard for them to figure it out changes is I know you're trying to keep your feet still you've got a lot of like drama lean towards her so just kind of stand up and be like commanding like I want you to go that way please so that way she can kind of feel that you have a plan and you're not just like it almost looks like you're trying to touch her but not fall in the water <laughs> there you go yeah, there you go. I'm glad you're straight because it actually by spreading your legs apart, it helps you change your body. Yep. Oh, where'd you see the message get to there? Yep. Good. I should do. See, I have a, one of my students wants to learn how to listen to their horse, and this is stuff that I, sh I should do because it's better if you tell me, then I know you see it too. <laughs> it's like, I don't really care, you just keep hitting me. There's horses that don't care, and you feel like you just keep hitting them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could take it up a little bit and be like, you know, I said, there you go. Yeah. Yep. But we're just going to let her have it there, only because it was a crossover before she left. So we're just going to let her have that for a second. Let's try to talk to you a little bit. You're starting to listen a little bit, but there might be something cool that's happening to it. I doubt it. Okay, same position, same request. Where the message was at first. I don't know if you saw where it was at first. You may not have read, been able to read that, but it was cool where it was. Did you see where the message was at first? Nope, it was at the tip of her nose, <laughs> which is kind of neat because it's where she thought to turn her nose. She actually thought to only turn her nose, like break the pole, like sideways. she needs to help her and then I'm going to try to be able to explain it to you. Ah, wrong answer. So she got the wrong answer. The message got to this shoulder. I don't want it on that shoulder. I need the message in the other shoulder. Side of her body. So I'm just gonna let her know. There you go. Yep. 
Now I'm going to wait on her because the message, where do you think the message is right now? It's actually right here. So the reason I was waiting on her is because if she followed through with that thought, it would be a pull, and if she pulled, she would have pulled the shoulder in the right way. So that's why I was leaving her alone, because her neck was in the right position, to pull her shoulder the right way. So that's why, and of course I stopped, so now we'll, you know. But, let's see. When I touched her in the shoulder, where it was, she's like, um, excuse me? Hey, talk to me. Yep. Yep. Good. Yep. So that message is right back where it was. Now I'm going to give her a little energy to say, okay, but don't stop thinking about it. If her head comes back the other way, the message goes back up the neck. Yep, there we go. Stayed. It actually went down a tiny bit. Yep, now it's going to get to her knee in a second. got to the other leg. I don't know if you saw that, but it got to the wrong leg, but not in a bad way. She got the bend of the fetlock, so that's why it was there. I wouldn't say it was in her toe yet. The foot, if it came off the ground, then going to come forward. So I stopped her when she got the message to the right place with the right direction. So that way, this time, she should at least get it to there. to the knee. She was ready to move her leg. She, she wasn't sure where she was moving it to, but it was probably going to go back if I had just kept going with her. So let's see if she, that's where it goes. So that, that was, if you want to gauge where your horse is mentally, 
that was really wonderful because she wanted to do it, but she didn't want to do it wrong. That's the part of giving them a voice, you know. She's not, she, if you saw that she quickly said, okay, I know I'm supposed to do this, I know I'm supposed to do this, and I know this leg's supposed to do something, but I don't know what to do with this one, right? So maybe we helped her that time, let's see. Then how much faster she's like, oh, okay. Ah, not forward, not forward, not forward. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, keep going through with it. So you got to, got distracted, it's okay. No, no, wrong page, wrong page. Yes, yep. Okay. We'll turn you the other, there. Yeah, yeah, good. Try again. Try again. Look, if you're going to get distracted, I'm going to wake you back up. Yes, there you go. Good. Nope, not, not forward. Not forward, okay? I'm not trying to be mean, but you're not listening, okay? So try. Try harder. There you go. Try harder. Yep. Yep. She's got her one knee's in the way. Good. Now she'll get it. Yes, you're right. Yes. Good. Yeah, yeah, but it has to be a tight forward step. You know what I mean? It can't be a walking just because it crossed over. You can't give it to her. Like, I gave it to her a couple times just because I was trying to get the message to that foot. But if she starts getting in the habit of crossing over way up here, and it turns into, then she's going to think that's what she's supposed to do. But if she crosses over where she's almost stepping on her other toe, that's okay. That, I, wouldn't, I don't want that. That's too far ahead. Back, 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 back. See, if you just respond to the word back, it'd be fine. I'm not married. Just trying to talk. You got big muscles in your ears. Yes. So the message is only at the tip of the nose. It's no, and it's not even cool. Like it's not like the last time where it was like cool where it was there. Wake up there. Yes. Don't make me touch you. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm gonna get in her way a little bit so I can help her. Good. So I'm only gonna teach her this and then we're gonna ride. But we're not gonna try to do more than this. Oh, that logical forward. That was like a whole deliberate 
problem is, is that she's just so closed down, you know? Like, for us to be able to just stand there and hit her for the sake of her just not connecting. But, so that's a place where, you know, if I was to say, now I was looking for a place to get on, that I certainly would get on. I mean, she came out like, yeah, whatever. If we're going to ride, we're going to ride. You know, she didn't come out like she's going to kill you if you get on her. But I like to get their mind to me. So, it's up to you if you want to try to get one of those feet or you want to just get on. I mean, I, of course, I want you to be able to do it, but... Um, I, I would be happy with saying that if it were to turn into another exercise, then it would probably just suck for her. So. But she'll get it. She'll get it, you know. It's just, she, she's literally, and she's not even like, some horses I consider like brats. She's not a brat. She's not going, no, 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 I can't hear you. But she's got a ton of crap she's built up in her ears. So to speak, so she can't. She can't hear. She's not like capable of believing. Remember, I told you like I feel bad when I work with horses because I'm like that horse can never be in an environment again because we promised them that they have a voice now. But if she's not going anywhere, we'll give her a voice. Because otherwise, this is all self-preservation. And they shut down this bag. I always feel bad when I do do that. Like, if they've just done something great and now we're going to ride and it's like, no, let's squeeze you in half because you were so good. You're a good girl. So, if you, have, you haven't really been riding in the ring, so you, don't, you haven't seen any improvements in what you have done? that bag hanging on the A. Okay, I got something fun to do. I actually played with this I had a lesson before I came, and I played with this. Are they, did you find them? Okay. And uh, it was actually a lot of fun, and he had fun. I played with the, like, I put up cones all in a serpentine line, and then I figurated at the trot, and then cantered to the next group of cones, and then figurated those cones, and then cantered to the next, and he, he was, he actually had fun. And uh, online. I mean, I could do it in the saddle too, but he had fun online. So that's what I'm actually going to have you do. What we'll do is we'll do your rail work with this vehicle walk. We'll make sure she's not pulling off the rail and then. Um, we're going to keep her busy by, we're going to do figure eights around every obstacle in the, in the arena. And I don't really care if you, you know, cause once we get to where we can do it at a trot, I don't really care if you change the diagonal or not. That doesn't matter. It's up to you if you want to practice. Are those barn shoes? Okay. My, I, I have the all-terrain ones. Which, are those areas? No. Okay. But they totally look more like sneakers than mine do. Well, they are, they don't have a heel. They don't have bags. What do you mean you got bags? Don't you teach kids? Kids <laughs> <laughs> have bags. She's a learning instructor. She doesn't know. Yeah, 
wear tall boots, right? You usually wear field boots. strength, for your leg strength, for your core strength, and then the day that you, you go put your strokes back on for a show, thank you, thank you, it's very sweet, thank you for coming to say hello, she's like, you talk to me, I do talk to you, don't I, yeah, tortured one girl by taking her strokes away from her because she stood in the left stirrup all the time and my horse kept turning around going stop it and he kept you know he, he was getting mad so I took her stirrups away so she'd sit more centered She's saying right now, like, you, you feel different. 
okay? Which is good, because now this is a good way to kind of say, let's start over. I feel different to you. Let's try to do things this way. So ask her to go forward, giving her, like, kind of imagine that you, you need to, I had a good one. Like you're sitting on the yoga ball and you're just trying to raise yourself enough that the ball doesn't come out from underneath you. So you want to give her that elevated feeling without looking like you're jumping out of the saddle. And then yeah, put your slightly forward just to let her know that you're asking her to go. And then if that if the energy to go doesn't work, then you're going to kiss. Good. And hopefully she'll realize what happens first. Usually, like, all, all my horses get to the point to where just my body can tell them to go. Um, I do put my reins forward also, so usually the two. Now, if you feel like that's okay where she came in that corner, that's fine. If not, so we'll make her get deeper into that corner. And allow, like when you get active, ride, you know, like, but when you're walking on the rails and you're not active, you're not like kind of punishing her, then just allow her to move your body and move with her. But when she, when she's kind of being punished, you're going to bring life into your body and kind of actively make her with your body do what you're asking for. I, I'm happy she's doing that, actually, because she's, she's feeling you out. Which is cool. Yep. And now, if the kiss doesn't work, then that's when you're going to show. It's kind of like if you have a gun on your pocket, like on your holster or on your side, and it's kind of like you lift up your shirt and say, you know, you see, I've got this. Um, so, what you'll do is you'll lay your legs on her without squeezing her to say, I've got these if I'm going to need them. Think of a different person right now. Huh? Does he think of a different yeah. person? Yep. Yeah. So now ride around with that with some energy. There. And ride around it out. So in part, I feel like, and she might be feeling that too, like you're anticipating her to come off the rail. It feels like you're like waiting for it. So in a way, you might be telling her to do it. Because I feel like I'm watching you wait for it. Yeah, like you have almost like a, a concentrated body language that's kind of saying, I'm waiting for you to do something wrong, and she's... Now she's really thinking about it. Okay, okay, keep her going. Good, good. If she comes right into that turn, that's great. Yep. It's all right, she's trying. It's okay. No, now she's looking at me. <laughs> she's, she's becoming fierce and sour like the rest of them. Keep going. <laughs> and she was looking at me again. So I'll try to stay kind of behind so she doesn't keep thinking she can come into it. Yep, now go ahead. And now you'll squeeze from the knee down instead of from the heel.
ahead and see if you can ask her to try. Circle the barrel. Look where you're going. Yep. Good girl. Oh, that was nice. Good girl. So since you're stopped, I'll just walk you through it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do a figure eight around those two, figure eight, keep going, keep going, figure eight through the, the rest spot, figure eight, figure eight, come back, face that way, stop the rest. Spot. So you're gonna worth stopping, but she got back short again. It's confusion. She doesn't know. Keep going, keep going. Give her direction. Tell her where you're going. Look. Keep going. Then get ready to start looking where you're going. Once she, yep, yep. Give her direction. Look, look, look where you're going. Look, you're going way over there. Look over there so she knows. Stop in there. Oh. Back her up two steps. Yep. Yep. See if we can get her to tuck her head down while she's back there. We don't want her to evade that badly. Good. Now ask and see if she'll keep her head down. Yep, now ask again. Okay, she's looking. That's what we wanted her to do. Look. Nope. Yep, keep going. Keep going until she drops her head and back up. Yep, there. And stop, stop. Excellent. So the release was what was so important right there because she was looking for so many different answers. You know, she's like, oh, I'm trying to avoid the bit, I'm trying to avoid the bit, but I'm going to back up because I'm really not liking that. And then she's like, well, maybe it's something to do with my head. So she was going through a bunch of different things, so it was really important that you stopped when you stopped. So now go ahead and ask her to back up. So when you're ready, we're not going to do it yet, when you're ready, you're going to trot out from there, you're going to trot around that one, figure eight around that one, 
when you get back on the rail, follow the rail to that jump. Then you're going to figure eight back to this jump. And then when you get around that rail, you're going to come back and land here. So you're going to kind of keep using the jump that you were just at, and then go back to it for the last figure eight, then go to the next group. You know, so we're going to, it's going to be like a traveling figure eight. hold strong so she's if she let her bang herself into that they're turning into a tug of war so she backs up which is the wrong answer squeeze harder so we want the back the, the wrong answer to be uncomfortable you're putting your hands now she's asking but that's okay just keep keep going with what you're going she's just there you go and the important to go as relaxed as you can right in that moment so that she gets the right answer. No, you're not coming over here. Good. So really look ahead when you're going to make your turn. So right there, I want you already looking at, already looking at me. Yep. Yeah? And then already looking at the wall. Yep, there. Give her, because when your body turns, she can hear you better. Yep, and come all the way back to that one. Figure eight around that one. Yep, just keep, just let her work that part out. Go all the way around and come back to your rest spot. Oh, nice. Did you feel a change? What was the change, do you think? And there was one more thing that she changed, so it was like it finally clicked. Huh? She, well, she stayed on the rail. That was good. But um, she had a really choppy, short strided, short back, almost like bad banana back through there. When she got to about there, her stride got long, her head came down, her back came up, and that was the best trot. It was like the first settled into trot she'd offered you. <laughs> she really is a itchy thing. Why do you have an itchy face? So I almost want to see something similar to give her an opportunity to do that again because they're patterned. So maybe just figure eight these two and then go all the way around. And let's see if probably by that door is when she's going to do it again. And just see if you notice like where she just, she, you, you should almost feel her body get longer. Like it won't show up on camera, but it's almost like she just, stretched her body out, and then gave you, I would say, probably four strides of a really nice trot right there. She's, so she's got it. So now she, she, you know, she showed us one of her tricks, like one of her, yeah, something she's hiding, out, hiding from us. But now she's showed us her cards, so she's got to play them. All right, give you a shot. Go, girl, go. Yep, just hold tight on those. Yep. She'll eventually learn that it's better to leave on that than it is to get squeezed. Yep, she backs up and squeeze harder, but if she, yep. Yep, squeeze harder, squeeze harder. Yep, 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 yep. Now she's asking again. It's okay. Squeeze harder, squeeze harder, squeeze harder. So keep it a solid squeeze instead of an actual kick. Squeeze harder. The other option is you can make chaos with the ends of the rings. Just like make, yeah, just kind of like make extra energy up. There, you're alone. So that's like your final straw. 